like to show a little update on my Thermaltake V9 mod project that I'm doing. I, as you can see here, this is where the, uh, in my previous video I said that a, uh, just to show you, here's my fingers, a little dirty, um, just got done cutting uh, something, I'll show you that in a bit, um, but this is the back of the CPU, or on the motherboard where the CPU would go right there, I'm hoping that is big enough uh, so I can see the holes, uh, so I can replace the uh, uh, the CPU cooler fan, and so I won't have to remove the motherboard. So I cut that, and this is this hole right here. This is where the 24 pin power, 20 to 24 pin power, uh, will come up, uh, depending on the motherboard. My both of my motherboards have a 24 pin. Um, and also, if you look right here, I cut that lip. Hope, hopefully, I'll be able to run wires through here. You know, the, they'll come out from the power supply, uh, run this way, up, back. Up here, up along here, I'll be able to hopefully along here. Um, the plan is to run the wires here and then run zip ties. These are on the other side of the motherboard. Um, there's a little indentation right here. Uh, so you can cable zip tie uh, wires to on the other side, but I'm hoping that I can run them up through here, zip tie them through this. If not, maybe I can bend this piece uh, back uh, so it's sticking out here. And then run the 24 pin power through here. I gotta uh, sand that down a little bit. Um, here's the back side of the motherboard tray. And the plan is to cut a hole down here, I think, I'm not sure where, maybe I think it's down here, maybe both places, um, maybe here and here, and maybe one right in here somewhere. Let's flip this back over, as I correct. Yeah, I'm going to have a, a rectangle hole right here. I'm going to have another one right here, just a circle hole, and uh, a hole right here. Um, what I used to drill this, uh, I used my Dremel. It's battery uh, operated. It is, uh, can I focus here? Um... It's the multi Dremel Multi Pro 7.2 volt model 770, and I used the this cutting blade. There it is, and the blades I actually used are. Let's see, will it focus on here? Anyway, they are the Dremel Heavy Duty Cutoff Wheel number 420. Uh, they were, there we go. Let's do this again. The Dremel Heavy Duty Cutoff Wheel number 420, and it contains 20 pieces. And let's see here. There they are. They are, I don't know if I had to guess, I'd say the size of a dime. Not a dime, a nickel. Between a nickel and a quarter. Um, let's give it a look here. About that size. This is the optical drive bay. Uh, not very big, um, but they did. I used, I'm on my third one. I 
cut down here the lip. I cut that and that is what I cut with and I'm on my third wheel. So these are, not that I had to make a switch, but um, I decided to get a new, a new cutting blade. And thank you for watching. I'll have more videos to come. And click on that little yellow button that says subscribe up in the upper right corner. Thanks.